Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is Andre from psdbox.com and I have a new tutorial where I want to show you how to make some dramatic um, hard light effects in Photoshop. And this is a special tutorial somehow because I don't know exactly what I will do. I already know the effect, I created the effect on another image, but I don't know the end result of this one. You've already seen the result of this tutorial at the beginning of the video, but I don't know what I will do. So when I'm done with this, I'll uh, use that end result as the screenshot that you just seen on, at the beginning of the video. I usually start with a background image and I chose this one, but I want to have a portrait uh, format, not this landscape uh, format. So what I will do is use the crop tool to select part of the of this road like that and I'll extend this up a bit and maybe make it wider and right click and choose crop and the reason why I have this empty part here is, is because this I will mask this so the first thing I'll do is name this background and I created this layer mask and now I will use the gradient tool, use black to white and I'll zoom in a bit and I'll create this, I'll press the shift key and click here and drag up like that and make sure you use the linear one not the reflected gradient and reverse it. Okay now I have the, the sky is gone and I will open a new sky image, I have a folder with sky stock images and I will open this stock image which I already used on another tutorial but I like how it looks so select all copy and paste it here and by the way if you have Photoshop elements you will be able to follow this tutorial tutorial in Photoshop elements as well and if you have any problems or have any questions just uh, ask me but I think all the methods that I will use uh, can be followed in Photoshop, in Adobe Elements. So I have the sky there and well this as you can see they don't really match. The first thing I want to do is refine the layer mask a bit, make it smoother. Uh, something like that and what I will have to do is adjust, in this case I will adjust the sky to match the, the, this road because I want to have this uh, kind of a orange look so I'll use maybe a photo filter or if not maybe a gradient map, let's see photo filter and let's choose sepia for example, well let's use warming and increase the density but let's see which one works best I like this one and let's let's try blend modes well let's let's leave this on normal and maybe try a gradient map and on the shadows we'll use this dark blue 